In this video, I'm going to be talking about how I am creating a power outlet and a new switch to control that power outlet in my attic. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I am installing an inline duct fan and that is some vent hose that goes to our bathroom. And so basically I want to have a switch that I can put down into the bathroom, which is, you know, down there and be able to control that uh, just by flipping the switch on and off. So um, I took a good amount of time figuring this one out, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys how it's working for me. So hopefully this helps you with your projects. So basically um, that four inch box over there is where I'm tapping into an existing power line. Um, and as you can see, it goes up here to my light in my attic. So that's good. It's getting us um, the light right here. And then from there, um, I'm basically piggybacking off it to a uh, standard wall outlet like that you can buy at a hardware store. And so like um, these, those white cables are called Romex and they have three wires inside of a white, a black and a bare copper wire, the ground wire. And so basically um, inside of these guys on your power outlet, you'll have like brass screws. And on the other side, if you can see that you'll have kind of silver screws. That's where the white wires will go. Um, so if all I did was go straight from that power source to this power outlet, it would be on all the time, which is not what I wanted because I don't want my vent fan to always be on up in the attic. So what you do, and I don't have proper switch wire, so to speak, to do this because if I did, both of these wires should be black um, and that wire right there should also be black. But basically, it's really as simple as going in and taking the black wire that would, advise, that would have otherwise gone into that power outlet and then connecting it to the one of the two black wires in your switch wire and then going to your switch and then back from the switch all the way back to the power outlet. So right now it's off. But, and you know, right now it's a live circuit, so I don't want to get electrocuted. So never touch these two together because that's how power will want to jump across and shock you. But if I just flip this guy to that on position, we can see that that light is now on. And if I come back here, you can see how I can flip this, it sets it off. So just like that, we have a circuit working. So what I'm going to do is take some Sharpie or something. And I know this is a very sketchy, not up to code way to do this. Please be careful and safe when you do this stuff, but I'm gonna make that wire black as well. And I just cut off, you know, the copper in this Romex because I don't wanna go out and buy, you know, specific wire for this. So I'm gonna color that white wire black. Also gonna color that white wire black. And then from there, you know, we'll have a fully working circuit where someone can turn the fan on as they want or turn it off when they don't need it. So that is how this whole thing works.